All right, well, th welcome everybody. Uh, I know it's the last talk of the day, so uh, we'll, we'll make it good and send you guys off in style here. Um, yeah, save the best for last, I like that. Um, so I'm Monty Montoya, VP of Products from C Prime. Uh, and this is Jonathan Muse. He runs our whole, uh, he's the product manager for the whole C Prime uh, ecosystem. Uh, and today, you know, we, we didn't want to talk too much about um, our apps, but we wanted to give something back to the community. And so that's kind of what we're going to focus on today. So we hope you guys leave with something you can run, execute using script automation that helps your customers or, or partners or, or, or clients. So. So a little bit about what we're doing. Obviously, if you guys have not heard of us, we are PowerScripts uh, for Jira. Uh, and we have you know, really been focusing on how are we going to leverage automation to really look inside of you know, giving you guys pre-built scripts that you can run in your instance and pull back what's happening you know, under the hood. It usually takes people 30 hours a week to get all this together in some synthesized fashion. We've put it all together for you in a pre-built uh, script framework. And uh, in 10 minutes, you can set it up, hit our repo, start running it in the SIL manager, uh, and really start uncovering uh, some things you'll see in a second here. Uh, so, so a little bit about me. Uh, well, John's going first. Uh, product manager, 20 years experience, uh, runs the full gamut of uh, all of our ecosystem of apps, uh, always getting pulled across our customers to help them with script automation. Uh, and then myself, um, been building Atlassian products integrations last six years, and for me, it's just been exciting in the Atlassian ecosystem on how we blend and intersect people, process, and, and technology. Um, so a little bit about what we're going to cover today, uh, just our approach, who we are, really cement that, and then talk about health reports. Uh, that's going to be the gist of our presentation today. So, so if you don't know uh, who C Prime Apps is, uh, we're, we're basically a custom product development organization, but we're really known for our marketplace footprint. Um, we built a, an administrative framework solution called PowerScripts, um, and it's a, a, essentially a solution framework of apps uh, that help solve governance, compliance, workflow automation, integrations. Uh, and what we're now starting to do is focus less on the product and, and focusing more on solutions as platinum solution experts. And so we want to enable you guys to use what we've already developed with our IP so that it makes your customers more successful. And what we're starting to do is, you'll, you'll hear about it today in health reports, but we're starting to bring it horizontally to all the other popular apps like um, you know, Riata, uh, Asset Management, Tempo, Time Tracking, uh, Portfolio, Release Planning, uh, structure, uh, being able to do dependency management, um, automation for Jira, draw.io, even with SIL, bringing it, uh, automating kind of visual drawing diagrams on your Jira tickets, and then getting into kind of things like Kamala workflow. So we're covering the gamut with script automation, but we're teaming up with a lot of the other vendors in the marketplace to kind of make it uh, a more powerful solution. So, so uh, w what is this? framework of apps, uh, we, we kind of look at these fundamental six and uh, we built the power suite. And so most of, most of the folks that are using us know us for PowerScript for Jira, which is a administrative toolbox. But you know, once you start understanding SIL, which is an abstracted language layer, once you write SIL, you can use it not just for you know, Jira administrative custom workflows and, and post functions and listeners, but you can start doing things like scripted custom fields with different types or um, external data, bringing external data into Jira, making it a part of the workflow. Um, so database integrations, and then even uh, tailoring the UI of Jira, like custom wizards, buttons with scripts on them to really kind of customize what your customers need to do from a solution perspective. Uh, and then finally, PowerScripts for Confluence, just templatizing and leveraging a better integration between Jira and Confluence so that you can kind of templatize that automatic, you know, programmed, uh, templatized launch, and then being able to kind of tie it back. And, and, and then for admins, bulk use cases like label, merge, archive, all that stuff with script. So popular use cases, how are folks using us before we get into health, health reports? Um, application governance, uh, a, a primary use case is permissions and restrictions. So maybe you want to you know, lock down things like read-only issues, uh, locking issues, restricting issue creation, uh, field manipulation like field capture, like requiring certain fields, um, automating field values on issue creation. So governance plays, being able to do it for the user so they don't have to fill out a long form, uh, you know, and it still makes it back into that management report. Um, Jira UI manipulation, so custom error messages, alerts, conditional notifications. Sky's the limit with script automation on what you can do. It's more about it started in Jira administration. Now it's moving into the business side. And, and you know, you, if, if you could think it, you could script it. So, uh, and then on the process automation side, um, advanced JQL reporting, um, auto prioritization, custom calculations, issue rollup, easy ways to leverage one framework. Uh, instead of having to kind of go down the road and, and install, you know, 30, 60, 80, 80 different apps to do that. So, 
What is it? What does it look like? Let's talk benefits uh, before we get into health reports specifically. Uh, it's a SIL manager inside of the, the JIRA UI where you're, you know, in the context of um, you don't need to be a, a technical developer. Uh, if you can write JQL, you're well on your way to writing your first SIL script. Uh, and when you do that, you don't need to know Groovy. You don't need to know JIRA SDK. You don't need to know the JIRA plugin development kit. Um, and, and it's universal across server and cloud, so portable, extensible. It's federated, so you have multiple different versions of Jira. Uh, you can kind of start installing it in both and doing some creative things with script automation to tell a better story, process some information in a different way. Uh, and then finally, it's all about implementing fast solutions. So we're finding you know, developers have a full-time job of being developers, and so we're seeing more and more uh, uh, Jira administrators needing more of that fast solutions, point and click, easy ways to script up their solutions and get going faster. And so um, one kind of claim to fame, we, we like to kind of say it's batteries included, so there's no technical debt with this sort of script automation. Our development team manages it, so through every Jira version, uh, we, we kind of take care of all that on the back end. So if you build a script in an older version, it's going to work in the next and the next. And so there's no technical debt concept that you know, carries over with, with, with other script automation frameworks. So, so let's get into health reports. Um, that was a little bit about us. Um, kind of blew through that pretty quickly, but I think what we want to empower you guys with is this concept of health reports that you can hit our SIL repo and use, using PowerScripts for Jira. And so the problem, a little bit, I have to frame it up, is people are prioritizing implementations of Atlassian, and they're, they're, they're looking for adoption and speed over uh, application governance. And so we're, we're finding out that this is a problem that gets kicked down the line later to be solved. And so we want to kind of start flipping the script a little bit and, and, and swapping those out so that we can think about, you got to start thinking about application governance first. Uh, and so the solution is health reports. We, we've developed, you know, you already heard what PowerScripts is. We pulled together our Atlassian uh, practices and our agile development practices, and we pulled them together, coaches, uh, and we pulled together basically these pre-built scripts. And so we've gotten half the battle and we put them in a SIL um, repo, and now you guys can take that. It's an installation file, clone it, download a free trial of PowerScripts for Jira for 30 days and run it. Uh, and, and things that you're going to start seeing is really looking at the quality of what's happening underneath your instance. And so this offering, let me be clear, it's a framework of, of pre-built scripts. Uh, it's, a, it's a module inside of our PowerScripts for Jira product. Um, it's available in the marketplace. Um, and then really it's all about uncovering gaps in your process and technology. So we want you to drive better application governance. And, and we think uh, a good start is with these three reports. So the first one that, that we're going to show you in a sec here is uh, Agile Health. So it's just really understanding you can run these scripts. It pulls back things like your issue types, how many are in your environment, what stage are they in, um, what, what's happening from a process perspective, where are things bogging down, uh, are things going into a sprint that aren't, aren't estimated, maybe there's a planning issue. So just really kind of creative ways to look at your time periods and your issues from an agile perspective. Uh, <laughs> next, system health. So just getting insight as you start scaling up to data center, um, all of those kind of integrity checkers and, and you know, documentation from the Atlassian community, if we flag something in there, it's going to pull back that documentation from the community and show you how to fix it. Uh, and finally, where we've been spent the most amount of time that we're going to show you today is admin health. So we've really focused on kind of auditing all the things happening under the hood, permissions, screens, schemes, unused fields, components, attachments, and we've, we've pulled all that back into a report, custom fields by project, all of these things that are used and unused so you can have better communication and, and drive a better strategy around, hey, maybe we should consolidate these things. Maybe it's an opportunity to kind of change what this is. And so um, really at, at the crux of, of PowerScripts, Health reports is a way to query, read, and retrieve conditional information about Agile process and your technology un underneath the hood. Um, we have a Confluence integration, so you can baseline this in Confluence and start to kind of measure over time, are we getting better or are we getting worse? Uh, and then you can kind of pulse check uh, automated assessments and baseline your progress. So, so really what it boils down to is you know, um, configurable thresholds. You de decide, we obviously can say, hey, maybe 80% predictability of your work items, but you can configure what does success look like for you. And so um, we have some configurable thresholds that can be completely customized uh, in this report. So, so let's, let's look at what this report looks like so you guys get a sense of you know, en enough here from that. But really what, what the value proposition is is what's in your instance. Uh, and so I want to kind of just take a, a minute here to pull it up. Okay, so uh, this is connected to 
uh, confluence. And so with our report, you can see based on those configurable thresholds, you're running that report over and over again. You don't have to run, run the full report, but we have everything here. So you can just run an admin report, just an agile report, uh, or, or the system, everything combined. So you can have a total health score. And as you dig into it, it's starting to pull back interesting things, right? Like what base URL you're running it on. Um, from a system health perspective, right? Embedded database, end of life, uh, collation, all of these things that are passing or failing. So we throw those scores. Anything like empty filters, um, being able to kind of pull that, as I mentioned, from the documentation on how to solve that. Uh, but the fun stuff really starts getting into where you start looking at things like, like epics without fixed versions or orphan issues um, or you know, aging issues greater than a time period that you can sort of configure and specify. We've done it here for you, but you know, different ways to then click on this, zoom to your you know, issue search, and see a list of those items where you can start going, taking action against those immediately. Um, same thing with time periods on sprints, versions, getting insight on that. But I think the biggest power that we're seeing for this audience and, and other users is really you know, looking at permissions and project roles, looking at things like um, what plugins are in, in, installed in this environment, what, you know, what, uh, are they out of date, are they paid, unpaid? Um, getting to kind of that concept of, of usage is really where we're, we're headed with this. Um, and then eventually looking at things like who are the administrators, should they be? Um, Statistics about your instance, how many attachments do we have, comments, schemes, uh, and then eventually moving into things like custom field usage where you, know, you can see a lot of failures here, and we're running it on, on our instance. So you can see there's a lot of interesting things here where you know, these are epic name is only used right 3,000 times out of 30,000 issues. There's a problem there. Let's talk about that. Figure out ways to maybe consolidate it. Um, and so there's just really interesting ways to uncover projects, people, work, uh, and really kind of get to a better application governance strategy. Um, questions so far? Well, what, what I think what's amazing about this, this is all built in still. So this is, this is our, our scripting language that even <clears throat> runs this. Yeah. So th this shows, shows you how powerful the, the scripting is. Yeah, mo most people, it's, it's a good point, Hiram. I mean, mo most people kind of get a sense of like, what scripts do I need to write? And a lot of them are in the context of a JIRA admin, writing post functions, listening, changing statuses. But on the business side, sky's the limit on what you can do if you know, if you know how to script it. And so you know, even looking at unused elements, you know, if, if, if there's you know, 12 unused custom fields, six unused groups, you can start cleaning that stuff up and getting back to a better kind of you know, overall vision of what, what the system should be like. So um, yeah, that's it. John, any, any, any questions for, for us here? So how's it going against script running? Yeah, good question. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. So, I mean, I'm just curious because obviously you, you guys are you guys on the block, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah. And they, well, you, give us a sense of like what like what the differentiators are uh, for the hot points. Yeah, you know, I'll. I'll uh, I, I'll, I'll say this. I mean, I think they've had a head start on us, right? And so I think uh, while well, they're doing great, um, if you're a developer, right, that, that's a powerful solution. But we're finding that as you know, folks are, are growing and scaling, you know, different set of admins are coming and needing maybe like faster, ad, you know, like if you can write in the context of a Jira issue search, like issue type equals, you know, without having to call screens in all these different things, uh, we're finding that um, there's enough pie to go around. And so we're, we've certainly been gaining ground, but I think we're focusing more on the solution use cases, like, you know, and I think that's where we're, we're making ground, you know, so. I hear the same story as Script Runner. Yeah, we had this one guy who knew how to do it, but he left. And now we're stuck in this version of Jira yeah. because we can't upgrade because nobody, you know, or you have the talent in the company to do it, but they're busy doing their jobs not a ministry here, where here you, you don't need to be a hardcore developer because that's honestly what it takes to be a stripper. You have to know a job, you have to know a group, you have to know the Atlassian SDK, you have to know the fucking process. Uh, and that takes years to really become proficient. Here you can become proficient in minutes. And, and one, one thing, just g good question, I'm glad you brought it up. We usually try to stay away from it, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I usually show this. I mean, every single release, there's some deprecated APIs. And as I just scroll, if you're using these in something like Script Runner, for example, you're, you got to maintain that, you know? And so your scripts are breaking effectively. And so this is something that, you know, always is going to be an issue. Um, and so you either need to keep your developers working on this stuff to maintain that technical debt or um, 
something like SIL, where it's its own language layer. We take care of all the dependency management, and, and now uh, you just focus on writing your scripts and going. So. so in SIL, nothing will ever be deprecated. Every method that is in place will be installed forever out there. And yeah. will change it. We can change it on the back end. And if we add uh, uh, Yes, but on the usage of the customer side, it will never change. Correct. If we add something new, we add it as an optional parameter, not as required. But no methods will be different. No, you can take it from Jira 6, run it in Jira 8, or in Cloud, same. So I guess in, in please. So if I have a thousand cents and uh, C prime script runs in the US, then I can completely migrate to server and no, because Jira Cloud is different. Jira Cloud won't let you access the administrative features. But the code? The code would be the same. That's cool. Um, but, you know, the, the two aren't the same. They don't have conditions of validators in the cloud. You have to attempt certain things, but at the core, it's yeah. Yep. And the syntax is, I mean, if you've ever written any script, the syntax is going to be explained to you almost. So one kind of key takeaway, what you saw in that health report, it's available, free on the marketplace. So, um, you know, find me afterwards, we'd be glad to share it, but we'll follow up with, with links to kind of how to get that and start installing it and using it. Uh, we use it in our customers and, and it helps kind of audit what's happening and it's a good benchmark and starting point, so. Thank you. <laughs>